This is the final video for how to create an iMovie slideshow for the classroom. So to review, we have created a new project in iMovie. We have added images either from iPhoto or from the web. We have created a title and credit slide. We've created a slide that we will be able to cite all of our sources if we pulled images from the web. We've looked at themes. We've been able to create subtitles and captions. We've worked with transitions. We've worked with the various inspectors, maps and backgrounds, cropping, rotation, and Ken Burns. We've adjusted the image. We've been able to add music or sound effects. We've been able to adjust all volume levels, fading in and out, overlaying various uh, effects and music. We've even been able to add a voiceover or narration when necessary. After taking a look at all of the options and all of the various things that we need to do and that we can do with our iMovie slideshow, even adjusting the length uh, of how long an image will be up. Now we are done. Once you are satisfied and you are completely finished and you've worked with everything that you've been wanting to work with, now it is time to finish and share your iMovie project. So I need to click to make sure at the top bar it says iMovie. And we want to go down to share, to the share uh, pull down menu. And in here there are a lot of places and a lot of things that we can do with our finished product. We could send it to iTunes and then it will send as a video file and you can play it right out of iTunes. If you wanted to make it into a DVD, say you wanted to make it a DVD and you wanted to be able to give it to your kids or save it for yourself as a hard copy, you can send it to iDVD and you can burn yourself a DVD. You could send it to YouTube if you have a YouTube account or you want to embed a YouTube video into a website that you've created. You can send it to YouTube. Uh, you can simply just export it, and the first thing that I would recommend is exporting to QuickTime. QuickTime is your default video player for uh, the Apple and, and Mac computers, and once in QuickTime, you can save it as a movie file in QuickTime, a .mov file, and from there, even in QuickTime, you can export it to various other places. So you can do a lot of things. Once you export this once, it's still going to stay here. It's not going to go anywhere. So you could export it or share it to a lot of different places. You could share it to iTunes. You could share it to YouTube. You could export it to QuickTime. You can do a lot of these things. The only thing is it's going to take some time. If you're exporting to QuickTime, it's going to take several minutes, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how long it is. If you're sending it to iTunes, again, it's going to take time. I DVD takes a lot of time. Um, the finalizing of the project so it's ready for these things does take some time, but you can do this all from this menu. And so when it's all said and done, you can have a completed movie file. And, and once you do this, you send it to YouTube, iTunes, QuickTime, wherever it may be. Once you are completely done, it is, it is then saved there. And then you could delete your project out of iMovie so you can save yourself some space. Um, or if you look at it and see that it's not what you want it to be, you can always come back in to your iMovie project, fix and change whatever you need to change, and then you could share it and finalize it again. But in the share menu, this is where we are going to finish um, all of our things. So for instance, if I wanted to export to QuickTime, I click on it, it's going to ask me what you want to save. Here it's going to save as the .movie file. You just hit save and it will go right to your quick time. So congratulations, you have finished iMovie slideshows for the classroom. And once again, when you're done and you're proud and satisfied with your product, you go to share and there's a lot of different places and a lot of different options of where and how you can save your, your video. Congratulations. Thanks for going through this training.